Two of the three people who died in a bizarre night of hijackings and chaos were killed when their car crashed into a lorry which had been left with headlights blazing across the Ballygawley Dungannon Road. The third was a terrorist, masked and wearing a combat jacket, who was shot in a gun battle near Coal Island. Border roads were cut off and the Egyptian arch near Nuri, over which the rail lines between Dublin and Belfast run, was blocked by a hijacked bus. It was a well-planned military-style operation involving more than a hundred gunmen. Drivers were forced out of their cars, buses and vans, and their hijacked vehicles left to block roads in every county of the province. At one stage, no fewer than 40 main roads were cut off. The army kept watch from a safe distance last night, and this morning their technical experts began the job of examining and clearing the hijacked vehicles. It was another highly coordinated demonstration of strength by the IRA who showed, as they did a month ago, that although they've been driven from the main centres of population, they can still cause massive disruptions in the countryside.